It was a very cold and chilly evening. The sun had gone down and the moon was slowly rising above the horizon. A cold breeze was blowing slowly between the gaps of the tree leaves, making a slow, eerie noise. Jacob Saunders was walking through Yorkshire Street, which was famous for its long, low footpaths and telephone booths. As he walked down the street, a strange rumor flashed in his mind. Recently he had heard that many people were either getting kidnapped or just getting erased from the mere plane of existence. Jacob was unaware of such rumors, also because there was no concrete evidence of the kidnappings. As he walked down the street, there was not even a single living being on the sidewalks, the cold breeze was still blowing with a creepy sound, guiding him to his destination. Suddenly he heard a strange noise coming from a dark alley behind a movie theater. When entered the alley, he found an old, crooked man sitting at the corner of the alley. It was too dark for Jacob to see anything clearly, so he switched on the flashlight. As he approached the man, the crying intensified. Finally, Jacob said, There is nothing to worry Connor. Everything has to end at a certain point in time, but death is not the end. Saying this, Jacob pulled out his gun from his back pocket and placed it against the man's head. Suddenly, the man jumped up and grabbed Jacob by his collar. Then he spoke to him, loudly in the most horrific voice, known to mankind. Do you have any idea about what death is? Do you remember all those people who got killed, just because of your work? Do you, mate? Well, I do, you know, I can see those people, ha ha ha. Suddenly, some visions flashed in front of Jacob's eyes. He saw an old man getting killed, an old lady getting burned alive, a child crying for help in the middle of an alley, and a gun. Remember those people, Jacob? The man asked him, with a smirk on his face. Well, it's time to meet those. Saying this, he threw Jacob on the group and Jacob blacked out.